and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is fourth day of November being Friday and with 31, you are seeing on that time of the church calendar. Today the morning church celebrates St. Charles Borromeo, Bishop. Our readers will be coming from Philippians chapter 3, verse 17 to chapter 4, verse 1. Our response to Saul will come for Psalm 122, verse 1. Our gospel message will come for Luke Gospel, chapter 16, verse 1 to 8. The theme of our message today is walking as the enemy of the cross. Walking as the enemies of the cross. What is the cross of Christ for us? Cross of redemption. The man who learned to suffer for the glory of God and for the good of others, he became a sacrifice, not suffering anymore. The cross stands for people who are ready to live their life for the glory of God and good of others. And what this sense of our being, that God created all of us for the good of another, never created us for ourselves. So when you talk about the cross of Christ, he carried this cross to glorify his father for the good of others, to liberate others in bondage. He carried the cross to liberate us from death, to give us life, from poverty to give us riches, from curses to bring us blessings. From loneliness to bring, lift us up. From slavery to make us freeborn. From that human being to make us God again. That's the essence of the cross of Christ. Could you become walk as the enemy of this cross? That's what Paul is talking to them. He said, these people who walk as the enemy of the cross. You see how Paul said, their end is destruction. Their end is destruction. People who walk as the enemy of the cross. Their God is their belly. Look at it. Their God is their belly. And they grow in their shame. They grow in their shame. With mindset on earthly things. They are, they are, we are finished. In fact, it defined all of us so well. Walk as enemy of the cross, enemy of joy, growth, enemy of development. Become a enemy to that. And, and you are heading for destruction. Look at what you boast with, with your belly, what you eat, 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 and drink. And sex, which is animal level of life. And that's what we're celebrating. Those of who grow in their shame. When you see an old man who carry wear bones on his neck and bone on the hand and, and uh, carry wool and put on his leg. Ash, grow in the shame. He's able to grow himself in shame. Something I'm supposed to be ashamed of. And dressed like a masquerade. So he's a, he's a, he's supposed to be ashamed of themselves. Their joy is what they will eat, what they will drink. And with their mindset on athletes, their boss is athletes. My car, my house, uh, my status, my party. Oh. That's what they boast with. They don't boast of anything productive. Do you see people who boast of their heavenly, for their athletes? But Paul said our, our common health is in heaven. Our common health is in heaven. Our wealth is in heaven. Not on earth. Earth is transitory. And now I say that common wealth is in heaven. From it, we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will change our lowly body to, the, to be like his glorious body. By the power which enabled him even to subject all things to himself, change our lowly status to glorious status, from low culture to higher culture. She said, that what I want to do for us. Therefore, my brethren, whom I love, and I long for you. I long for my joy and crown. Stand firm. Say, you are my joy and my crown. Stand firm. 
in this way in the Lord. Stand for me this way in the Lord, my beloved ones. See, when you are there, living out the life of Christ, you are no more enemy of the world, of, of, of the cross of Christ. You are, you are ladder. You are sharing the cross of Christ. And that's why today Jesus told them a parable, the gospel message. He said to his disciples, there was a rich man. So look at this parable. Who had a steward and charge you. And charges were brought against the steward that is stealing the master's money. Ravish is the master's money. Yes. Living like disobedient children. Consuming and consuming and not producing. Being useless. When the master heard about it, he called him and said, look, what is this I'm hearing about you? Oh, yeah, give an account. You will no more serve me. The man said, oh, my master is going to sack me. What do I do? To farm? I'm no strength. To beg, I'm ashamed. Hmm? He recognizes that he's a lazy man. And he goes that he's a full of arrogance. You're full of insult. That's I'm ashamed to beg. There's need for you to beg, you beg. But for them, not so. So now, know what to do. Dishonesty, criminality. Yes, dishonesty and criminality, corruption. So I know what I'm going to do so that they welcome me when my master have sacked me. Went and asked somebody, how many bats are with you on my master? The man said, a hundred bag. He said, sit down now. I'm right, eight. And he asked him, how many drums of oil do you owe my master? He said, hundred. He said, take the paper and write fifty. We told the master, praise this, commended this dishonest person. You see, praise this dishonest person. No? So you see, these the people who say that dishonest, that, that are the good people. You know, more irresponsible you are in Nigeria, the more responsible position you are given. The more dishonest you are, the more you are promoted. So the master said, he, he praised this dishonest steward for his prudence. He said, the masters, he said, commended the dishonest steward for his prudence. For the sons of this world are wiser in their own generation than the sons of light. You see how they can make from what they know and achieve what they don't have. And he said, that we're the sons of light. These people can think in this way. Why not you think in a higher way as a son of light? That's the more reason why we're supposed to think higher than this. And they, so we'll not think like them who are enemy of the cross. We'll now think more of the glory of the cross and celebrate it and spend more time and energy on it. And that's what the psalmist who understood this message today. This year. Look at what the psalmist who understood the message say, say today. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Yes. Person who now knows the truth and knows the best where life goes, the best of living, and said, let's go rejoice to the house of the Lord. No mourning to the house of the Lord. And rejoicing to the beer power. And rejoicing in the flesh. But we now rejoice in the spirit of God. That's the difference. That's the opposite. And now why today we say St. Charles Borromeo, a bishop, Borromeo was born in 1518, a member of Medici family, a very wealthy family, no family. After studying, after be, be, becoming a lawyer, his uncle, Pope Pius IV, summoned him to Rome. And when he came, he made me a cardinal. And he spent his greater energy implementing the, the, the Council of Trent decision. He spent greater time doing that. As a very young man, as even as a little person, he was made a cardinal. And later was made a bishop. I was made sent to be bishop of Milan. And in that place, he has been 30 zero for the apostolate. He built several, he built first seminaries 
and was contained the abuses among the creatures. He was able to establish the foundation of faith granted in, this, in, the, in, the, in the decision of the church, in the council of trade, mostly. And do you see how this young man, and we're told he died in 1584, died very young. But he spent much, achieved much within a short period of time. He walked, he didn't walk as enemy of the cross. Rather, he shared in the cross of Christ. May God help us be grace, no more to walk as enemy of the cross, but to share in the cross of Christ. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us who is shown walking around as enemy of the cross of Christ. The Mother, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Thank you.